right guys, right now my heart rate is 66. We're gonna show you a quick example on the treadmill uh, about the different zones you can run in and how you keep accountable. So I'm walking on a .007 here. And for my age, as we're kind of boosting it up, my age, my fat burning zone is around 125 to 135. I have to stay in that zone to burn fat. Now simply worded, if I go above those zones, and I got my heart rate monitor here to make sure I don't do that, uh, by the second it shows me, but if I go above those zones, my body's gonna burn carbs or muscle. Now let's just say I, uh, I'm one of those, oh, I don't like carbs person, and there's a lot of you out there watching this video. So let's just imagine you don't have a lot of carbs in you. Just because you can run above your zone does not mean you should, especially if you don't have carbs, because your body's gonna burn up the muscle. So in a sense, you're running here, right? You're running, you're running, you're running. You're trying to burn fat, you're trying to burn fat. Did you know you're burning muscle? You're burning up your muscle. You're not burning fat. In fact, your body's storing fat. You lose weight. Yes, you do, you lose weight. But your ass has more fat on it. Because if you lose muscle and you, uh, you store your fat, your, fa your fat percentage actually goes up. So my statement's correct. You actually have more fat on your butt. Um, we're gonna show you today, like I said, right now my heart rate is 83. How you can keep track by the second with the heart rate monitor. Today I'm using the Polar uh, watches, the RC3 GPS, kind of cool. Shows me uh, where I'm at, my altitudes. Has different zones. Today I've, I've actually plugged in the running zone. I have a training zone, I have a cycling zone. For you athletes out there, you wanna keep track of your heart rates in those different uh, sports, you can with this watch. Another watch I highly suggest is the Polar FT7. It's super basic, but does everything you need. The FT4 does the same, but I'll tell you, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to hit the button to see what your heart rate is, and I like just looking down knowing what it is, especially on a cycling bike. I can take this, put it there, and, and uh, just hit the light, and I can see it in any class. So, right now, my heart rate is 80, and I'm gonna jump up to Let's see, I'm gonna put this on our number five with no incline. See how long it takes my heart rate to get high. It's a slight jog. Kimberly, I like to run 10 minutes. I like to run 10 minutes before, uh, before I work out. Why? Well, you know, it helps me warm up. Why? Well, because I feel better. Yeah, but didn't you burn up all your sugar? Could have been using that to build muscle. Come on, guys, don't come up with your own things here. Warm up your shoulders, train your abs. Do something else other than run off the muscle building fuel that you brought to the gym with you. Because unless you're intro working out, unless you're training uh, with supplements, most likely you're gonna run out of fuel before your muscle building's done. And now you're right back at the beginning of this conversation where you're working out, you're not running, and you're trying to build muscle but you're actually using muscle to fuel your muscle building. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? So, right now my heart rate is 116. I'm burning fat, but not a lot of calories. That's what I like about the heart rate monitor. I want to burn the most amount of calories of fat. So I know my heart rate can go a little bit higher to allow me to burn more calories, jump on the line of fat burning to sugar or muscle burning. So we're gonna raise my speed. A six. Now one of the things I'll do also guys, I'll put my watch right here. For this example, you know, I'm gonna wear it. But usually I'll just look down and, and see what my heart rate is. Watch the TV or keep on going. Just focus. Okay. Heart rate still. like this all day. I don't really feel like I'm trying. Just take yourself back to before you watch this video. When you hop on the treadmill, you're like, man, I, I want to do more. I want a six pack. I want this fat off my ass, man. I want more. So what do you do? You run faster. And you turn up. Okay, right now I'm at uh, 132. With three more beats, I start burning muscle. Go watch this. Now I can't believe this is long. 
But it is more fun, it's more stimulating. I feel like I'm trying harder. already. I'm already jumping out of my fat burning zone that fast. Now I'm burning carbs. Whatever carbs are in my system. If I go like this for long enough, usually it's about 20 minutes and you're super carved up. At a high resistance or high heart rate, your carbs will be gone. So that's why they make intro workout drinks for muscle building. When you're training in the gym, doing a lot or something, make sure that you're not using muscle to get strong. Now I'm going to hop off. It's the fast way to do it. If you look right here, my heart rate says 144. Can't see that because we're holding the camera over there, but it does. I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm burning up muscle. Uh, I know I'm not because I had some carbs, but if I were to do this for 20 minutes, those of you who go on runs, burn up your muscle running if your heart rate is too high. So I want to create a sense of anxiety in you guys. I do because who really likes to run? I mean, now we got back to 127, 130. Running is fun. Running helps me uh, compartmentalize. It helps me burn off some steam. Helps me not take my gear home to the people I love or to, to, to snap at somebody I shouldn't. Helps me enjoy that job that, that I do enjoy, but every once in a while I get some crap and ooh, I better go for a run. But with the run, you can do two things. What I just talked about and burn fat. So most of us are in there doing the same thing at night. We're, we're either in there trying to burn off some steam and burn fat or one or the other. But if you don't follow what I kind of just talked about, and there's a graph on KimberlyPlan.com, just look for it, heart rate training graph, you're, you're most likely not going to reach your goal. You're going to burn off the steam, yes you are, but you're not going to burn fat. And in the end, you might burn off the steam from work or whatever's frustrating in your life, but if your intention was to burn fat while running, you're going to have steam again and you can't get rid of that because you just wasted all those hours. Wasted them. Now a lot of you right now are, are gonna try to discount what I just said, and I'll tell you why. Because Kimberly just told you that you could have spent your time less wisely than, in a, and for lack of better words, wasted your time. If your intention was to burn fat, and you went running all those hundreds of miles, uh, you didn't. So you're sitting there going, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm telling you, you gotta have a heart rate monitor to keep your, your zones accountable. And I, uh, I always like to refer this conversation I have with a guy who's trying to explain all this to me and he had a little more time than I do on this video but he's, he went basically over the umbrella that I just did and I, I looked at him and I argued everything. And I argued, I probably sat in his store for two hours because I didn't wanna own it. I was not gonna have this man talk me out of all that work. I wanted to burn fat, I ran, till it hurt, till my legs were bleeding, man. I, I did everything that I thought I needed to do to get that fat off me. And in the end, I did. I did everything I thought I needed to do. But I could have done more. And had I known about this heart rate monitor, stop. Uh, I, I would have basically been standing next to that man with better results. So in the end, I had to apologize to him. And I had to say, buddy, I'm sorry for wasting your time. I realize why it took you so long to talk me into this and how redundant the conversation was. It's because I really didn't want you to talk me out of my time spent. So I'm looking at you guys saying, hey, if you don't have a heart rate monitor, I guarantee you, you're wasting some of your time. I'm not gonna say all of it, but some of it is wasted. And the reason why is you don't know what zone you're in. We can get to diet for a second. We'll talk about that real quick. If you're, uh, if you're dieting, and you're putting a certain amount of calories in there. Everybody likes to talk about this. Well, I'm eating 1,700 calories a day, or I'm eating chicken and rice every meal. And I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, and I take all these supplements. Right? Good for you. How do you know how many calories you're supposed to have? Well, somebody told me. Yeah, okay, that, that's good advice, but how do you know? Well, um, you know, this and this and this. <sighs> Buddy, that's not an answer. I want you to look at me in my eyes, and I want you to tell me you know 
what kind of fuel you're burn, burning and how many calories a day you're burning. Tell me you know that because you're following a diet. Why the hell would you follow a diet if you didn't know how many calories you're burning? And I'll tell you how many people can answer that question. 3% that I ask. 3% of everybody who walks in this gym, they're filled every day and night. There's gyms open 24 hours a day filled with people that walk in without these and I make fun of every one of them. And I say that humbly, those that can't afford one, fine. But it's, it's the kind of fun that, a, that, that your friend would make of you for not having a GPS on your phone. Everybody's got one now, guys. Almost everybody has a GPS on your phone because everybody drives somewhere, right? Well, if you're gonna come into the gym, how could you not have a GPS to your goal? How could you possibly come in here and spend all these hours without a GPS to your goal? So, KimberlyPlan.com, I'm gonna leave you with this. If you're doing your cardio, please wear one of these. Please stay inside your zones. Please look at it by the second and then look at the calories burned and use that to adjust your diet. And if you know what's going out and what kind of calories are going out, you know what to put in. Stop worrying about put what you're putting in. Worry about what's going out and then worry about what you put in. And that's how you reach your goal. KimberlyPlan.com, David Kimberly, little cardio session with the heart rate monitor. Thanks for watching.